What are the updates, Alice? OK, well, we know that Hotpoint in the UK here, they're who are responsible for dealing with this for us, um, are still rolling out their programme of modifications, of repair, uh, replacement and refund. Um, we know so far that they have done 150,000 machines. That sounds a lot. That's great. They've contacted millions of customers. They're rolling out 4,500 modifications a day. But we're talking about five million machines mm, that need repairing. That's a lot. So we're only just making some kind of mark on it. Um, the biggest problem now is the lack of consistency. I've got people contacting me who've got six year old machines who've been given a completely free replacement. I've got people who've got six month old machines who cannot get an answer from anybody and are being told they have to pay for a replacement. That's what's driving people nuts. Has our MP had uh, a response yet? Well, Ian Wright, who's the chair of the Select Committee for Business Innovations and Skills, he wrote to the MD of Hotpoint Europe, which, who is Maurizio Petterino, and he laid out some very specific questions and he updated us earlier with uh, what they told him. Okay. I've received a reply from Whirlpool's managing director. I welcome the positive tone of his letter, but I think there remain some key questions and issues to be resolved um, that I will be pursuing. First is, when did the company know? Whirlpool took over Indeset in October 2014, and I can't believe they didn't do real checks to ensure what they were buying. So that needs to be resolved because it isn't in the uh, uh, letter that I received. And secondly, and most importantly for Hotpoint, for other cu customers, it's the letter says from the managing director that it won't be resolved, that recall and checks won't be carried out until January the 2017, possibly at the very latest. That's not good enough. This should be resolved in a matter of weeks, certainly not months, and certainly not next year. And so I'll be writing back to the managing director, thanking him for the letter, but saying we really need this to be firmed up and quickened up so Hotpoint and other customers can get a better deal faster. You've requested information from them as well, haven't you? Absolutely. I've asked them whether they think it's acceptable that January 2017 is the wait time for people who are sitting with a potential fire hazard in their houses. They say that they know that this is a, an unacceptable amount of time for people to wait. They're hoping to bring that time forward. But people are genuinely frightened. And I went to the White Goods Trades Association meeting on Friday to talk to engineers, and they agreed that, t uh, by their very nature, tumble dryers are dangerous machines. They put a lot of the onus on us, the consumers, to clean out the lint, um, but they say that they're very dangerous machines. Interestingly, and we'll follow this up later, they say the expensive machines have warning lights and aren't as dangerous as the cheap machines, so that's something we need to follow up.